Hi, beauties! Welcome back to my channel. Oh my gosh, you guys, we have a special delicacy for you guys today, and we're going to be making Angel and Licky's favorite food, which is. different you guys since you guys always ask to see the twins and you guys are always thrilled you know how they help me out in the kitchen like I have little helpers right here they help me out a lot in the kitchen so you know it's time for dinner and we just want to make their favorite food so we're going to be making mashed potatoes broccoli and baked chicken, chicken. yeah and we're going to do kind of a baked chicken you guys so the very first thing you're going to need is chicken and then you need of course when we're talking of, of baking we need an oven tray and we're going to bake this chicken in, in an oven but the first thing you want to go ahead and do is to wrap this oven tray because you don't want to like start baking the chicken on this tray you know because once you do it on this tray like the whole chicken is going to stick to the tray so what I normally love to do is to use a foil paper just going to use this foil paper right here and wrap this um, baking tray so you know it doesn't the chicken doesn't get stuck on the tray when we are baking. All right, so once we've wrapped the tray, the next thing we're gonna go ahead and start doing is to place the chicken on the tray. And how I normally like to do it is to place like one up, one down. So, you know, I will have the enough space on the tray. So, we put one up, one down, right. So once we put this right, nice. You see, this shows that they really help me in the kitchen. Okay, this side, we're gonna place right here. I like to do this one like this. Enter one one each. N yes, nice, nice, right. And then we're gonna put the other one up, up, oh, uh. oh, like that. Nice. And then, so once we've placed the chicken on the baking tray, the very next thing we love to do is to go ahead and season up the chicken. Like one thing I love about baking is like baking my chicken is because the seasoning. Like when you season it well, you know. While it's baking, everything is getting right into the chicken. So this is exactly how I like to do it. And to season up my chicken, I love adobo. I love um, to use salt. And this one, a cousin of mine came from Nigeria. She brought this for me. And this one is arom aromate seasoning. I love this a lot. Like it, it brings out the, the taste of the food. And then I also use um, some grounded cinnamon and then some Maggi cube. So. I love to just go ahead with the uh, with the goya adobo. You want to make sure you saturate the whole chicken with the with the seasoning, just this way. Angelique, you are eating the chicken already. It's raw. You can't eat it like this. So hold on, when it's done, you can eat. So one thing I love to do is like um, 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 apply the seasoning really, really well because some people like to use their hands to like you know scrub the the seasoning inside the chicken, but I don't like that. So I just make sure I saturate the whole chicken and then I go ahead and turn it upside down to get the other side of the chicken. We like to turn it upside down like this and then go over and do the same thing. Angelique, don't eat seasoning. Oh my gosh, this is what I go through you guys. Like everything goes into their mouth. <laughs> and then the next thing I love to do is to go in with the salt. Just a little bit of the salt though because you guys know too much of salt. It's not, you know, it's not good. No mommy, I do it myself. I'm just going to go ahead and sprinkle some salt. Then I just go ahead with the with the next seasoning and just you know spray it on the chicken just this way every seasoning you just have to turn it around so you get it to the other side of the chicken so i'm going to go in with the cinnamon and um, with the grounded cinnamon and just apply it all over the chicken just like this but i promise you guys like once this thing starts baking the whole house smells so good because like cinnamon and um, spice like it gives this very nice aroma to the food so i just love using cinnamon spice very last thing we want to go ahead and add it is some maggie cubes mommy what is this called maggie cubes maggie cubes maggie cubes mm. yes we just do it like i just like to sprinkle it and go get me butter from the fridge remember we, we normally put butter go get me butter oh Libby, you're getting it yeah Okay, we've not even started and it's still yeah. so good. Some people prefer to add like maybe olive oil or 
um, cooking oil, but I love butter because butter just has this taste it gives to the chicken. And the twins, they love helping me in, in this particular um, step right here. They love, you know, placing the butter on top of the chicken, one after the other. Between. Nice. So I'm just going to go ahead now and put the chicken inside the oven. Go ahead and use um, an oven cover, you know, the tray cover and cover it. And this will actually make sure that while the chicken is baking, it doesn't dry out. I don't like it when my chicken is dry. I like a very nice, like juicy chicken. So this right here is going to help like retain the moisture of the chicken, you know, so it doesn't dry out. So what's the next thing we're gonna do now? Broccoli! So the next thing we're gonna do is broccoli and we have our broccoli right here. This is actually like fresh broccoli, you guys. So we normally just like to go in and start breaking it apart. And sometimes I like to use knife, you know, and cut it from the stem while, Every you know, the one they do, they just use their hands to cut it. And this is very, very nutritious. Like if you have babies, definitely try out this, this particular um, recipe you guys it's so healthy it's very very healthy i believe i started doing this for the twins when they turned one like they love this this is their favorite food i'm just gonna go ahead now and wash my broccoli okay so once i've washed my broccoli i made sure it's very very clean as they call it over here saucepan but of course niger you know we call it pot you just want to fill in your pot with water like you, you don't necessarily need to fill the whole pot and for this water right here you want to like cook it until it's hot because one thing with this um, broccoli right here is is a green vegetable so the more you cook it you know the more like you 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 take away from the nutrients so i just like to boil hot water then put pour this broccoli inside it leave it for just few seconds and then bring it out so that way you know i don't dry out the nutrients from the from the broth. So it's 30 minutes already, so we're gonna check our chicken. Angel, can you give me this? Of course, you know it's gonna be hot, so I like to use my uh, my gloves to check on the chicken. So this is what it's looking like right here, and I normally just like to use this bowl right here to take out the stock, because like this stock right here is very, very good, especially when you're making like jollof rice, you know, so I like to just take out the, the stock from the chicken. All right, so the very next thing is to go in with the barbecue sauce, and this right here gives the chicken the bestest in the world, you guys. Start saturating the barbecue sauce on the chicken. Like, you guys, you need to try this out. This gives it the bestest ever. I'm not covering the chicken. I'm just leaving it open so the barbecue sauce will dry on the chicken skin. Chicken skin. All right, so what's the next thing we're gonna do? My we're gonna do our mashed potato like you guys I know this might seem a lot but I promise you this just takes me an hour to do like literally I do this in an hour so I don't because we're filming and doing everything it looks like you know it's a lot but this right here just an hour and you're done so we're gonna do the mashed potato and to make this we need a gallon of milk we need butter and we need mashed potato and I also like to add a little just a pinch of salt to the mashed potatoes all right so for my mashed potatoes I just added one cup of water inside the pot just this much as you all can see it's just a cup of water and then I just brought it to a boil so while the water is boiling you want to go ahead and add just a pinch of salt to the to oh. the water so it is good just this much, just a pinch of salt for taste. I can't do this. And then you want to go ahead and shake the gallon of milk. Open it up. And then I love to add like half of the of the milk. Just turn it in and start adding. Alright, so for the butter, I'm just gonna go ahead and add just a half of the butter. I'm just gonna cut it into half and then add it and adding butter to your mashed potatoes really makes it very very creamy and you know soft and leave it to boil for like five or seven minutes oh my gosh once you don't monitor this thing it will, it will start overflowing so you have to monitor that as you all can see i'm using hungry jack so i'm just going to start adding the mashed potato inside the pot and as you're adding you want to go ahead and stir it just as you're adding just continue to stir and you know it will start popping up so you just want to be careful and this hot so bad but apart from that just make sure you continue to stir 
And once you're done stirring, you just want to leave it a little bit just to cool off. And when it cools off, it's going to give you that very nice, you know, like creamy texture. Woo! Look at that, you guys. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, you guys. Finally, food is ready. ready. Oh my gosh, the food is ready. So we have our baked chicken, mashed potato, and broccoli. So we're going to go ahead now and taste it. We're going to taste. And we're gonna taste. Angel and Nikki, I know you can't wait. We just mm -hmm. get the chicken. Oh my god, it smells so good. Yeah. And then we're gonna get mashed potato. The mashed potato. Mommy, can I just see it on the table? Mm -hmm. yeah. I know you can't wait to sit down. Don't worry, when we finish filming, you, you'll now relax and deal. And then we're gonna take some of the broccoli. Okay. Are you gonna do this? No, Nikki, no. Is it very really hot? Yes, it's hot, so you oh, gotta do oh, it. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, this smells so good, you guys. So here we have it. Here we have the food. Uh, I know you can't wait. Uh, careful, it's hot. Mm, it tastes good. Mm. You guys, like if you have babies in the house, definitely try out this recipe. It's so good. So good. And it's very, very nutritious too. So, mommy's gonna have a big bite. Mmm. 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 <coughs> Tastes so good. Yeah. But yeah, you guys, I believe that is it. Like, we're definitely gonna deal with this food once we turn off that camera. You know, this one is just scratch of throat. The cat, la la, believe according to my people but yeah you guys this is it i'm so so excited that you know we were able to do this for you guys and definitely not let me know <clears throat> hold on <clears throat> okay so definitely let me know in my comment section if you guys want to see us cook more because we have a lot of recipes we can share with you guys and of course we want to say a very big thank you to jesse baby they sent in their apron and their what is this this called angel and Licky chef hats yeah and their chef hats for this cooking so you guys i'm going to leave jesse baby's link in my description box so you guys go and check them out and yeah you guys i hope you all enjoyed this video and till our next one i will see you all very very I soon talk. okay talk and 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 does does he subscribe for more videos bye oh my gosh she said i'm um, just subscribe for more big videos bye oh thank you so much sweetie and of course don't forget to subscribe to our channel okay bye bye i love you, I love you too bye, bye.